What's up, fans? It is the Tech Master here on the Shadow Knows Network. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Holy crap, a picture is making the rounds on social media this morning, and I've got to touch on this because it is massive. So there's a picture on social media right now that's making the rounds of Shane McMahon and Tony Khan meeting on Monday in Arlington, Texas. And it looks like um, apparently that it's a conference room at an airport. Now, AEW has some shows going on in mid-August in Arlington, Texas. So right now the picture shows Shane McMahon just casually, you know, standing, leaning towards uh, Tony Khan in a meeting room, in a conference room, and then both looking at the person taking the photo. Now, Shane McMahon's a very, you know, private, personal guy, so I, can't imagine that this would be something that he didn't know about or something that you know he didn't want to have you know uh on social media or have someone take a picture so now there's lots of speculation going on so i'm going to break it down for you like this shane mcmahon we know right now has no ties to the wwe his contracts expired now every mcmahon in the wwe has had a contract in the past we know for sure that Shane McMahon does not have a contract with the WWE. So he has no ties to the WWE, with the exception of his father, Vince McMahon, obviously being the uh, CEO, formerly being the CEO of the WWE, and his father, of course, that's, you know, his father, Shane's, Shane's dad. Um, and then, of course, you've got Triple H, who is his brother-in-law, and then Stephanie McMahon, who is his sister. So this is a very, very interesting dynamic. Now, we can go back and look at this whole, you know, scenario. Uh, Tony Khan, before he started AEW or before he created AEW with the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes and all that stuff, um, he's been a wrestling fan for a very long time. He used to be backstage at WWE shows. So he's got mutual friends of Shane McMahon. Has he ever met Shane McMahon? I have no idea. He says he's never met Shane McMahon, never talked to him, but they have mutual friends. We can only speculate and we can only go by what Tony Khan is telling us, right? What I do know is that Tony Khan and Shane McMahon had a meeting on Monday in Arlington, Texas. Now, Shane McMahon owns his own business away. It has nothing to do with professional wrestling. He owns his own business. It's overseas. Maybe he was sitting down with Tony Khan to discuss how his company can help Tony Khan internationally. I have no idea. Maybe he was sitting down with Tony Khan to discuss or talk about professional wrestling. Maybe he sat down with Tony Khan to discuss the possibilities of moving forward together in some sort of a business relationship. Now, you're, the question going around is, what is Shane McMahon doing meeting with Tony Khan? It's simple. Shane McMahon is a very intelligent businessman. Obviously, his father is Vince McMahon, right? So he comes from a family of great minds. Shane McMahon can help AEW in so many different ways. Now, you remember um, Vince McMahon, when he ran the WWE, his right-hand man, no pun intended, was none other than Pat Patterson. So I can see Tony Khan bringing in Shane McMahon as his right-hand man in AEW. Maybe Shane will help creatively. Maybe Shane just, you know, wants to help in, in, in other ways. I mean, there's so many opportunities that, a that can bring AEW to the next level if Shane McMahon becomes involved. Now, the question is, what kind of a rift will this create in the McMahon family? I mean, obviously, your brother-in-law is Triple H. WWE right now is doing the best business, I think, that, that they've ever done. So how does this affect a relationship between Shane McMahon and Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, his you know father, Vince McMahon? I mean, what, this whole dynamic, how does this impact that relationship? We don't know what the relationship is between Shane McMahon and the rest of his family. So I gotta imagine that if Triple H sees this photo that's circulating on social media, I mean, he's got to at least be scratching his head going, what the hell? Or maybe he knew about it already. Maybe Shane was transparent. I mean, there's so much speculation. But I can tell you this, wrestling fans, how can Shane McMahon help AEW? First and foremost, his last name is McMahon. Second of all, he can I'm sure he can help with, uh, you know, getting them more exposure nationwide on an international level with many different companies that he probably has relationships with uh, outside of the WWE or maybe even met through the WWE. Um, he can help AEW on the creative level. He can help AEW on the production level. 
but Tony Khan has to be willing to allow Shane McMahon to do what he does best. This could take AEW to that next level, to where AEW needs to be. AEW could then become real competition to the WWE. Because right now, let's be honest, they're not. They're not. So Shane McMahon has a lot to offer AEW and Tony Khan. Now also, too, Shane McMahon has uh, at least two sons that I know of. One's an older son, one's a younger son. They're both football players. The older one is a football player. The youngest one just got accepted into a college team. Um, so maybe they were talking about football. I mean, Tony Khan's father owns the, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, you know, I mean, we have no idea, but I can tell you, based on the picture that is circulating on social media right now, is I'm sure they were talking business. They were talking about professional wrestling. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, another interesting point, too, is here before I wrap up is Tony Khan was very vocal over the last several months talking about Vince McMahon and how uh, he was like the Harvey Weinstein of the professional wrestling world. That's some pretty strong words, if you ask me. So, <laughs> again, I mean, you know, that just makes this entire meeting with Shane McMahon and Tony Khan extremely interesting. I guess we'll know in the next several weeks where the meeting goes, if anywhere. Uh, but I will say this, Tony Khan is at a point where he knows that if he wants to keep AEW afloat, there's things that he's going to have to do. There's some changes that he's going to have to make. He's going to have to clean house, so to speak, and rebuild and restructure AEW to make it true competition to the WWE. I'm excited because when things like this happen, you just never know. You know, um, you never know the outcome, but the outcome hopefully will be favorable. And I'm pulling for AEW because they are a professional wrestling company. We love professional wrestling. I don't like the tribalism garbage. I just got to say that we want AEW to thrive. We want AEW to be successful. Same with, you know, TNA, WWE, I mean, so on and so forth. So let's see what happens, wrestling fans. But my take is Shane McMahon can really help elevate AEW in so many ways. Let's see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is the Tech Master on the Shadow Nose Network. This is the Top Wrestling Wrap-Up. We'll catch you soon.